and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. This episode will be another installment in our 10 Things series, and our guest is Samantha Cao, a coach with Grapeseed Vietnam. Welcome to the podcast, Sam. Thank you, Adam. It's I'm, good to be here. I'm very excited to have you on. So let's start with your favorite material and why it's your favorite. Um, I think that my favorite teaching materials it must be songs, because okay. uh, first of all, I like singing. So it works out well. Uh, and then secondly, I like how I like to see how students respond to songs, to the tunes most of the time, because mm-hmm. even uh, like starting from unit one, I mean, everybody can see that they love singing so much. But even until uh, three years later, maybe unit 14, they still like singing and they still enjoy all the tunes uh, with, that, with us. So it's a very, um, I would say, uh, long-lasting c- component that engage students uh, mm-hmm. very easily um, and yeah and just because of the level of engagement that comes so naturally it's probably the main reason why I love song so much mm. yeah how about a specific material um so uh it's not it's a technically a song it has a tune to it but it's actually an act- action activity um i think if i remember correctly in units 12 13 there's a song there's an action activity called 101 when oh, you yeah. have to, yeah like you have to count from uh, 51 to 101 uh it seems like a, a horrible task to do with uh, students because it takes a long time uh, but because of the nice uh, actions that inco- was that were incorporated in that component, it just so fun every single time uh, with them uh, from the beginning to the end of the unit for me at least. Um, so yeah, so I love it. It's really fun that particular material because it, it's relatively new, right? So it, it, that one got added in the last version of the curriculum, kind of to add uh-huh. more action activities through some of the the units that didn't have them before. Um, mm. If you go on the portal to the G100 and watch the trainer examples for this one, it's Miklos. <laughs> it's Miklos doing this one. I remember watching that video with my colleagues actually, and we just can't stop laughing. I don't know how you were able to record it. Oh, it, it, laughter in the background. It took multiple takes just because it's 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 a fun material to do with students, but in that particular example, when it's just him by himself in a room with us recording, it's a, it's a little <laughs> bit more awkward. Not just because it's him, just because it, anybody, if you're standing there, and especially if you're a guy and you're saying like move your hips and you're wiggling back and forth in front of a camera. It's, it's pretty awkward, but it was a fun, fun experience. Okay. All right. So it's fun for all. So not just students, not just teachers, but also trainers. For everyone involved. Because. So definitely go check out in the G100s there. If, I think it's unit 12, like you're saying. So go, go check yeah. out the trainer example there and enjoy it. <laughs> Let's move to favorite unit. What is your favorite unit and why? Um, so after, uh, looking at, like, I need to, I need it to refresh my memory. Right. So, uh, but then after reviewing uh, different units, I realized that it's new unit nine. Okay. Uh, because it has like the best songs, okay. let's say songs and components of all time for me. I know that you like, uh, the mail carrier song, but that's not my type. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This interview is over. Best. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so I think the best one in uh, in Unit Nine is Brown. Uh, I just it's just it's just so funny every time I I watch the video online, mm. it still cracks me up like till today um, because of the rhymes and the unexpected uh, events happening in that song. <laughs> um, and also, there's oops, a uh, very fun chance that you can use a lot because kids drop things all the time so that that is a very uh that contains usable language in the classroom mm-hmm. um there's also really good when they need to sing a, a, a part like it's really good it's really 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 good and that is when the stu- all the students just go wild because <laughs> they are so excited um <laughs> they they just lose it every time um and yeah, so all, all those songs are so funny. I think Brown, I try to 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 kind of uh, find the chords 
uh, of the song on the ukulele once just so that I can play it. Oh, wow. <laughs> For fun. Yeah. And I did find it. I forgot all about it, though. <laughs> but I did find it once and I played it with the kids and yeah, it was fun as well. Um, yeah, so just all of the best songs, I would say, uh, in Unit 9 and also the start of Multilateral Phonographs. Hey, um, yep. a totally different journey for the students, uh, no longer air writing, but here are all the <laughs> phonograms that looks different but has several similar sounds so good luck with that kids yeah uh, <laughs> well especially especially english being such a, a funny language like ph <laughs> making the f sound right like it just it, really confusing uh-huh. unless we actually really teach those in class uh-huh. and yeah like you said unit nine is where we start that yeah and like ow uh ow oh they look almost the same but but yeah, so this part is when it gets a little bit confusing for the students at first. Uh, so yeah, I think it's challenging and it's quite refreshing after seven, eight units of teaching um, single letter phonograms. Because the curriculum is always evolving with the students mm-hmm. and their ability levels, right? So yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.